Success story. How a 28-year-old cleared $57,000 selling his first home. Today I want to debunk a myth about millennials. This is the generation born between 1980 and 2000, the children of the baby boomers. The media tells you that millennials are renting rather than buying homes because they don't qualify for loans due to student debt. Last week, one of Suzanne's clients, Ashton, sold his home that he lived in for the past five years. He walked out of the closing with a $57,478 check. Ashton is only 28 years old. He's smart and in some ways a typical millennial. He's into tech and comics. The first home purchase, no money down. Ashton purchased this first home in the Southern Orchards neighborhood near Children's Hospital. The house was part of the Healthy Homes program to revitalize inner city neighborhoods. The purchase price was $104,000. As part of the Healthy Homes program, Ashton received forgivable down payment assistance. As long as he would stay in the house for five years, he did not have to pay it back. Similar programs still exist today. In addition, there was a partial tax abatement which reduced property taxes to $346.18 a year. Ashton also qualified for the loan by himself, without a cosigner. He had a good job in IT. Two years earlier, he finished a two-year professional degree in programming. He worked for UPS at night, so he didn't have any student debt. Owning and selling your first home. Southern Orchards is a neighborhood in transition with a mix of vacant homes, rentals, and beautifully remodeled properties. Ashton's home was completely rebuilt on top of an old foundation, so it was essentially new. To reduce his monthly payments, Ashton invited friends to move in and rent some of the rooms. Having tenants in your house creates challenges, but it also teaches responsibility and pride of ownership and helps pay for the mortgage. Before we list his house, Ashton had it completely repainted and new carpets installed. It looked almost like new, which is essential to getting offers quickly. When Suzanne listed it and launched her four-day marketing blitz, they received multiple offers above list price within a day. Ashton sold the house for $160,100. What could have gone wrong? No one can predict how home values will improve. Ashton got lucky by the fact that Children's Hospital attracts many employees to the neighborhood. Potential buyers loved the fact that the house was in walking distance to their jobs. Southern Orchards is in transitioning. If you grew up in the suburbs, you may not be comfortable living on the edge of an inner city neighborhood. How you can help your millennials. I like to share Ashton's story because I want to debunk the gloom and doom that's spread by the media. Millennials have a real opportunity to create real wealth by buying a home instead of renting. Home ownership also teaches them invaluable life skills. Be patient. Home values may not always increase quickly. You have to be prepared to take care of your home and make improvements. Sometimes, parents may have to co-sign or help you with the down payment of the loan. In the long run, owning a home is one of the best ways to build wealth for the younger generation. We would love to tell more stories like Ashton's and help you become a successful homeowner. Call or text Suzanne at 614-975-9650 to find out how she can help you. And for more expert tips and advice, please visit SuzanneNovak.com and be sure to sign up for our weekly newsletter that will help you sell your home for top dollar and find your perfect dream house. Thank you for watching.